Pink Pop 2011, the second day. Now we're talking to White Lies. Uh, you've been called in the prospect of the Pink Pop magazine, the heir to the throne of Joy Division. Do you feel it like that? Nope. Why? Because we're not anything like Joy Division. Is it not a great, uh, big inspiration for your music? Nope. Don't, well, like, don't really, don't really like Joy Division that much. What is a band? But what is a big inspiration for the music of White Lies then? Oh, lots of things, really. Um, not Joy Division. But not, not Joy Division so much. I think there's many. You know, there's, we're three different people who like many different kinds of music and uh, lots of different bands. So I think we have our own personal inspirations and uh, our own things that turn us on. But uh, I would say that Joy Division is one that is misused for us. I think. It's uh, called here in the, the prospect. So uh, your music is, uh, on the one hand, uh, dark and gloomy. On the other hand, it's also catchy. It's radio friendly. Is this the big secret of a good White Lies song? Yeah, I think that's part of the part of the secret of a White Lies song. It's something that we all love. is uh, is good pop music. So we have no shame in in trying to write catchy melodies and interesting hook lines and this kind of thing. Um, it's certainly something that we that we aim to do when we make music. Uh, you played as a support act for uh, Coldplay. Uh, is this a, not a complete different public? Yeah, the, the Coldplay audience is good, though. You know, they're very receptive to to what we were doing, and uh, it's a good opportunity for a band like us to play in front of hundred thousand people. You know, it's uh, something that we're not we're not at that stage yet, and uh, we they're not skeptical towards the music of White Lies because you're playing a lot more dark music instead of Coldplay. Well, I think they kind of like that. Maybe it's something nice for them before they watch Coldplay and. Uh, I don't know, we had a good reaction when we did, did, did the Coldplay shows, but we've, we've supported Muse and, and Kings of Leon as well, and, and their audiences definitely get us. So it's, uh, those kind of shows are just massive opportunities, I think. Of course, opportunities. They gave an answer to the question, why should people at this Pink Pop Festival should go to Joy Division, of the, to <laughs> White Lies, of course. Oh, inside joke, I will translate it. There must be music for people who are tired of life. Do you agree with that? Definitely not. I think uh, whoever wrote that is probably quite wrong. Uh, they come to a White Lies show, that that's that's not the experience they would have. It's an energetic thing. It's something that is about uh, enjoying yourself, really. I mean, that's why we do it. We do it because we enjoy it. Otherwise, we wouldn't bother. Um, so it's something that is uh, supposed to be a lot of fun for everyone. And I think usually if we have a good show, that's what happens. You know, the crowd really get into it and, and have a good time. But your lyrics aren't any very funny. They're not funny, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. I think, I think they're, I think they're great lyrics. Charles writes the lyrics over there, and uh, he does a very good job. And I think he does. I agree with you. Thank you for him. What are the future plans? This, the plans for this summer, this festival summer, to uh, live gigs. Where, where can we see White Lies? Uh, all over, really. We're doing lo lots of festivals in Europe. Maybe, uh, maybe 20 or 30 festivals this year. So we're all over. We'll be, we'll be all across Europe, and then America, and then. Maybe uh, maybe Japan and Australia later in the year. We'll have to see. Lots okay. of stuff. You made a wonderful album. It's called Ritual, your second. Very good album. I wish you a lot of success with White Lies. And I never will mention Joy Division again. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Great. It's my honor. White Lies. <laughs>